Can you purchase real estate even if you're in college? There's a lot of people that don't know you can actually buy real estate as a college kid. I know because I developed my financial freedom from real estate investing when I was in college. Today we're gonna to be sitting down with a young man named Ryan and he's an exercise science sophomore and basically saying, Chris, I've been watching your channel and I wanna invest in real estate, but what can I do? I don't have a job, I don't have credit and I'm gonna break down for him three juicy options on how he can make it, maybe you too. Cause we're gonna be legends. What we're doing here ain't just scary It's about to be legendary What's up YouTube, Chris Crone here and as promised I'm actually sitting here with Ryan College kid trying to figure out how to become real estate investor extraordinaire Yes Is that right? Yes it is Good, awesome So Ryan, how long have you been checking out the channel? Uh, on and off for about a year. Okay, and, and why is it, what is it about real estate that, uh, that intrigues you? It's just the financial freedom. It's uh, an opportunity to live life how you want to. Yeah. To travel, to just enjoy the things that you enjoy doing. Nice. Well, what I'm going to be doing today with you is called a game plan. And I, this is like one of my favorite games. I'm going to basically slip myself into your shoes and say, if I woke up today as Ryan, going to college, doing my thing, like, how would I become financially free? And what would be my fastest path? Sweet. That makes sense? Yeah, for sure. Okay, man, we're gonna dive right on in. So I just gotta ask you a couple of questions first. By the way, for those of you that are like, man, could I get a private game plan with Chris? Well, I'll tell you right now that there's a link below and if you wanna get a private game plan with a member of my team, they've all been trained and certified by me and they're brilliant at showing you your options. So let's see how it looks like for Ryan and if you want yours, it's in the link below. So um, Ryan, right now, where are you at in college? I am a sophomore in college. Okay. I am at BYU studying exercise science. Okay, you excited about it? Yeah, for sure. Nice, and what is it about real estate that you really just fires you up? Um, like I said, it's, it's the financial freedom. I, I love to travel, I love to be outdoors, adventure. That's, okay. that's what I love to do. Perfect, awesome, hence the exercise science. Yeah. Get out there, see the world, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, um, do you work right now? I do. What do you do? I, I work part-time. Um, I kind of work for myself and for my uncle. He owns a drywall company, and so I do jobs for him now and then, and then I paint on the side as well. So some painting, some drywall, do gigs when you can. Yeah. It doesn't, it's not even really classified probably as full-time or part-time, right? No, not really. Just a job here and a job there. Yeah. And do you have any student loan debt? I do not. Okay, so the goal is get through college without any debt? It is. That's admirable. I like that goal. So let's see if we can do that. And on top of that, start buying some real estate. Yeah, definitely. Now, in, in Ryan's situation, he doesn't have a job um, and, and he's really focusing on school as his path right now. When I work with someone in college who's also going to school and working full time, it's easier to start buying real estate. But even for Ryan's situation, there's 100% options on what you can do. So that's really what I wanna exploit today and kinda of show you what that looks Sweet. like. Sweet. Um, by the way, have you started establishing your credit? I have. Good. Credit card? Yes, I have one credit card. Awesome. Get two more. Sweet. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Um, three options in today's game plan that I'm feeling strongly about. First one is cosign. Cosign basically says, I've got a parent, a friend, a sibling, somebody who's actually in a position to do real estate and qualify with a bank when I can't. And I can team up my credit with theirs and then the bank will add me to the loan and I'll buy it and I'll be responsible and I'll make sure they get some benefit out of the deal. Sweet. So if you co-sign and find a way to do that and get yourself into a house, the benefit is you pick yourself up three, four, five roommates and guess what they're doing now? Paying the rent. They're paying the rent plus guess what? There's usually three, four, five hundred bucks left over. So you can actually have them help pay for your college experience, which hmm. I always thought it was kind of cool. Yeah, for sure. When you're out of college, you just can put a lease option family in there, sell it to them, and uh, generally on a house like that, you can make some pretty banger money. It's awesome. So that's one of the first things is you can co-sign, which means someone else has the credit, the money. On a deal like this, for a primary residence, 3% down, you're probably going to need around four to $5,000 set aside. Okay. So you gotta get creative. But now good news is for a college kid, if I said you need 40 grand, it's like, how am yeah. I gonna do that? But you know what, four or five grand, guess what? You can get creative and kind of figure that out, right? Yeah, if you've definitely. done some side hustles, if you've done some painting jobs, you're thinking, well, this next semester, if I can pick up every weekend a job from my uncle, you know, and pocket that money, I could put four or five grand away, right? Yeah, definitely. So it's possible. So co-signing is, 
I, I, that's a fast path possibility. The good news about it is that you can be sitting on that positive cash flow three, five hundred dollars a month. Okay. Um, option number two, how else do you buy real estate without using your own money and, and credit to qualify? I, in college, use a system called lease option. Lease option is where you specialize in finding landlords that don't want their homes anymore. Okay. Many landlords, Ryan, are, are don't wanters. They either thought that they would love real estate, became a landlord, and they're like, this sucks, when we don't even want to do rentals with them anyway. Uh, you, you've got people that inherited property. Um, there's just, people come by homes and then they get stuck doing something they don't want to do. Landlording is not most people's favorite job or profession. So there's a lot of don't wanters out there. So you call them up and you basically, it's simple. It's just like, hey, um, looks like you're renting your house. I would like to actually buy it from you over the next few years. Are you open to that? And they're like, take this home <laughs> off of my hands? And they get kind of skeptical and you're like, yeah, I'll take care of it. I'll do all the repairs and maintenance. I won't call you about anything. Now they want to meet and they're like, what is this deal? Yeah. Basically you negotiate to say, you be the bank, I'll take care of it. And then you sublet it out to somebody else. And instead of a rental, you do a lease option. They put money down, they pay a premium cash flow to, for the option to buy it. You're the man in the middle, it's called a sandwich lease and you get to make that money. That sounds awesome. Okay, lease option. Um, I love teaching my students how to do that. So that's something very viable that you may want to consider. Um, other than that, the third option that I wanted to roll with today is what I call partnering. Now, in the past, partnering meant go find someone with forty dollars or $50,000. Convince them that this real estate is the thing to do and then partner up. And where you get stuck is a lot of people are like, dude, you don't have experience. You've never done mm. this before. Why would I want to like throw so much money in at your inexperience level? So um, I created a program called Maverick, and it's a specific type of partnering program. And the way it works is you introduce people not to you as the expert, to me, because I am the expert. Yeah. They look at my track record, they look at my last several thousand homes, they watch my YouTube channel, they look at my track record and reputation, they say, wow, you're right, Ryan, this guy knows what he's doing. And if they decide to partner with me because you referred him my way, then I take my ownership and I split it in half down the middle and share it with you. Just for knowing people, all of a sudden you're now doing real estate, but you're doing it with no money and you're doing it with no credit. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, this right here is like the creme de la creme of how do you actually get in the game and freaking crush it. And so I wanted to share that. In fact, all three of these, if you look at them, they, for the most part, they require little or no money. Yeah. And they don't require your credit because you haven't built it enough yet. You got a one credit card, you need to get a couple more. And I would say if you were working part-time or full-time, that we would then focus on qualifying with the bank and you wouldn't mm. need these people. But what these all share in common is that real estate is not so much about properties as it is about people. Yeah. This is a person going in with you on the deal. This is a landlord that says, I no longer want the deal, but you've got youth and energy and you have a plan. And this is someone that says, well, I got some resources, but I don't want to put in the sweat. Mm -hmm. And now you've got a little something that you can do on the side. That's why I did this during college, because it, yeah, it, it doesn't take a lot of time. Does that make sense? Yeah, for sure. So these are the three options that I'm seeing for you, and, um, and I love all of them. Uh, do you have any questions about any of this? No, I don't think so. What's it like, though, knowing that even in your situation where you're at, focusing on college, no steady career at this point, doing a couple of side jobs, what's it like knowing you have three options? It's, it's awesome. I mean, it, it gives me a lot of confidence going forward and makes me think that I really can do this. Yeah. Well, Ryan, there's a lot more for us to discuss after this, but yeah. for you, you can get your own custom game plan in the link below. Smash the like button on this video if you did like it so YouTube knows to share it with others. Thank you so much for watching it. Dude, Ryan, dude, I'm pumped for you, brother. Thank you. Awesome, guys. We'll catch you on tomorrow's video.